It's so far quiet for the hurricane season, but that could change quickly. And the National Office of Disaster Services is sparing no effort in getting the country ready. With the release of the preliminary list of shelters and the names of the disaster coordinators, Director Fillmore Mullen says most of the shelters are at level one, which means no one is allowed to stay for a prolonged period. That is in, 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 in essence uh, part of the plan to spread shelteries as thin as possible across many shelters as opposed to having large numbers in one shelter as part of the whole COVID consideration. Everything that happens this year takes place in the shadows of COVID-19. Mullen is hoping that Antiguan Barbuda can continue to keep the coronavirus at bay. The good thing thus far, if I may hit wood, um, we still have a relatively low level of COVID cases. And so if we go into the shelter, into the hurricane season, if we're impacted, um, with the levels still being that low, then that's a plus. Mullen is seeing opportunity in the challenging circumstances that are coming with the hurricane season in the midst of a crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic. He says the lessons being learned today will leave a legacy for the future. And so I think this is a golden opportunity for us to capture as much information as we can so that we can make sure that the next generation of disaster managers have adequate information to deal with this type of situation. Disaster officials continue to stress in the meantime that sheltering with families should be the first option. But if they have to reach to a shelter, they should take with them non-perishable foods, a change of clothes, important documents and so on. The wearing of masks is now mandatory in a shelter. Andy Lybert reporting for ABS News.